Good day mga Fox. Uh, thank you for joining me and watching my new video topics today entitled The Proper Application and Calculations of Sizing Up an Electrical Wire and Positive with its Corresponding Circuit Breakers. And this is based on the PEC 2017. But before I proceed further, uh, allow me to invite you to, uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, uh, I invite you to please subscribe and uh, just press the subscribe below channel in this uh, uh, video so that you can be updated in my next video uh, presentation uh, about uh, some other electrical topics thank you okay okay uh, due to starting uh, side note though, this is uh, where uh, a very interesting uh, uh, inquiry and uh, from a uh, a colleague of ours uh, na isang uh, licensed electric electrician din siguro siya and he was inquiring or asking about uh, what is the advisable main breaker ito yung tinatanya rito what is the advisable main breaker uh, sorry uh, to be used uh, from his uh, uh, load schedule is it uh, 60 amperes or is it 80 amperes Ito yung uh, sinot niyang load schedule here and uh, it came out uh, to be a total of maximum connected load of 10,340 watts. Uh, unfortunately, hindi watts ang uh, unit niyan. It should be VA. Okay. And uh, also a 220 volt supply. Uh, single phase ito. Uh, we are going to use this 230 volts in the 220 and also uh, he has uh, uh, this uh, computation here you know 80 percent times i mean the 80 amperes times uh, eight percent uh, 80 percent is says uh, we have 64 amperes and it's a level uh, maximum load of 64 uh, to 14,800 uh, and also for the 60 ampere in the breaker uh, times uh, 0.8 uh, as per PEC, meron siyang 48 amperes and also the level uh, load schedule ay 10,560 watts. Okay, let's do the uh, analysis uh, and the PEC interpretation and applications of this inquiry. Kung alin dyan ang tamang sagot. Okay, meron tayo ritong first is his total connected load. Uh, maximum total connected niya ay 10,340 VA. Ito yan. Uh, pag dinivide natin sa 230V, uh, kung makukuha natin yung uh, uh, full loose current. <coughs> uh, the second one is yung full loose current yan ay uh, 49.95. Base dito, dinivide mo. So, makukuha natin itong 44.9. Based sa rules ng uh, point, decimal point uh, ng ating uh, uh, current uh, uh, result ay pag uh, more than uh, 0.5 ang uh, iyong uh, decimal point here uh, you have to uh, uh, round this up to 45 amperes but ito ay less than 0.5 ay 44 lang ang gagamitin mo okay so we are going to use this uh, 45 amperes so, this 45 amperes na full loss current ay ibibabasi natin ito sa PEC 310.2.6B16 at 60 degree column. Bakit 60 degree, hindi 75 degree column? Ano ba yung uh, may rules and regulation kasi tayong sinusunod dito sa PEC 310.2.6B16. Kung ano yan, ay uh, nais ko pa yung uh, i-run through dito sa aking isang Dito, i-run to query to na basahin nyo ito, i-watch nyo ito ang vlog ko na ito na how to use this interpretation of 310.2.6b, 16 plus 2 point uh, para malaman nyo kung uh, ano yung uh, rules and regulation ng 60 degrees, uh, 70 degrees, 75 degrees at uh, 90 degrees column dito sa uh, PEC na ito. Okay, let's go back to this one. Ito yung interpretation ng uh, ating basis sa PC310.2.6b. 
Okay, meron tayo dito 60 degrees. Okay, let's see this 60 degrees here. Dial 45 uh, ampere ang full load current natin. So, below siya, uh, below siya sa ano, yung 45 amperes natin ay below 100 amps. So, dito tayo magbibase sa 60 degrees. Kung ito ay above 100 amps, above 100 amps, sa 75 degree tayo column magbabase dito. Itong 90 degrees ay is for uh, the rating purposes only. Pero ang mga THC na 90 degrees dito sa wire na ito ay pwede nating magamit yan ay pwede natin magamit sa itong THC na dito ay pwede natin magamit dito sa 75 degree column or 60 degree column. Basahin nyo po yun o i-watch nyo po yung uh, vlog ko na yun tungkol sa PEC para magkaroon tayo ng understanding ng bawat isa. So, here we go. Uh, ang ating uh, 60 degrees column here, dahil 45 siya, based on that 45 uh, full loose current, we are bound to make a choice between these two. Uh, 40 uh, to 55 opacities. Ito yun. Imamagnify ko ito. Itong lalabas niyan. Okay, sa so 40 maximum of allowed opacity ay meron siyang corresponding 8 mm squared na wire. Dito naman sa 55 opacity, maximum allowed opacity, meron siyang 14 mm squared ampas, uh, na wire, na size ng wire. So, alin ba ang gagamitin natin sa kanyang tanong? Is it the 40 or the 55 maximum allowed opacity? Ang 40 ay hindi pwede kasi uh, mababa ito sa 45 amperes. Kailangan ang opacity natin ay mataas sa 45 amperes. So, alin dyan? Itong 55 amperes mo ay mataas ito sa 45 amperes. So, ito ang ating appropriate na gagamitin sa kanyang katanungan kung anong size na wire at yung opacity. Ang 14 mm squared. So, na, na size na natin ang kanyang wire uh, which is 14%. Ano naman yung breaker niya based dun sa 55 amps na opacity ng 14 mm part. What is the maximum opacity uh, of, the, of this uh, wire? Ito yung allowed na um, ito yung allowed na opacity ng uh, wire bago mag-break down ang wire insulation pag nagkaroon ng overloading. Okay, ano yung 55? Wala tayong uh, nasa market na i-convert natin sa breaker. Ang positive, wala tayong 55 na size ng breaker sa market. 55 amperes. Instead, we have to uh, base our selection process dito sa 2.416. And based on that, ang next higher niya is we can go for the 60. Meron yan sa market na 6080. So, ang size na gagamitan natin dyan ay 6080 uh, at uh, 14 mm squared na wire. Ang gagamitan natin sa kanyang, uh, sa kanyang inquiry. Alright. So, let's move further sa analysis ng kanyang uh, question. Let's go back to here. Now, we have already the uh, size of wire and the size of the breaker which is... Uh, 60 amp I mean 60 I'm sorry which is uh, 60 amperes uh, okay 60 amperes na breaker and uh, size ng wire i 14 mm squared okay uh, ang kanyang uh, maximum ano uh, is 55 amperes so uh, let's uh, do the calculation for the 6080 which is restricted to 80% Ayan, 80% lang po ang allowed natin ang sa mga breaker na naka-enclosed. Okay, so, so based dito sa PC 230.8, yung 80% na yan, uh, we can uh, find this uh, uh, allowable niya na uh, 48 amperes ang positive sa breaker. So yung uh, 55 amperes natin dito ng positive ng feeder ay mas mataas kaysa sa 48 amperes ang ng ating breaker. That means, ito ay 
uh, compliance sa ating PEC uh, safety guidelines. Okay? When it comes to the tripping, ito mangyayari dyan. Kapag uh, nagkaroon ng overloading uh, sa ating uh, system, yung uh, 58 amperes na reach niya sa overloading sa main fe feeder ng wire mo na 55 amperes dahil uh, ang maximum uh, uh, ano lang ng ating breaker is 48 amperes to trigger a trip pag na-reach niya itong 48 amperes na-reach ng uh, 55 amperes ang 48 amperes iti-trip na kaagad dito instantly ang breaker natin uh, para walang over at uh, walang overheating sa ating uh, insulation wire at ipoprotect niya ang uh, cable natin from further uh, um, uh, heat uh, uh, increase overheating I, I, I instantly trip niya yung breaker so napoprotect niya ang cable natin dito dahil uh, 55 amperes yung ating Uh, main feeder, mara-reach na itong 48 dito sa breaker. So, ang breaker magsa-shut down. So, safe na yung ating uh, cable jam. Okay? Now, let's uh, go over with uh, this one. Okay, we have done this. And we have done this. You just have to uh, uh, try to watch this uh, and so that you, you will be in uh, in consonance with each other para dun sa application ng PC uh, 3.4.6 okay paano naman kapag gagamitin natin ang tinatanin niyang 80 ampere trip na OCPD or, or main breaker uh, which is not uh, appropriate to use okay itong dahilan yan let's do this uh, analysis the 80 ampere trip na breaker times the 80% percent uh, as uh, uh, restriction uh, allowed by the PEC meron siyang 64 Ampere, ang positive. O, sabi natin, ang positive yan. Meron tayong FLC na 45 amperes sa ating total maximum connected load. At yung ating ang positive ng wire ay 14 mm shared, uh, which is the appropriate for this uh, uh, inquiry. At merong uh, 55 amperes na um, ang positive, ang ating 14 mm squared na maximum ang positive. Ang tanong dyan is... Uh, yung uh, ang scenario dito ay yung 64 na breaker ay mas mataas kisa sa feeder ampacity okay so hindi na sa compliance sa safety ng guidelines ng PEC bakit? ano mangyari? when there is an overload the breaker will not instantly trip bakit ka mo? because napaka taas siya kaysa sa 55 amperes itong 55 amperes na main feeder marireach niya ito pag nag-overload pero ang breaker mo ay hindi pa magtitrip dahil 64 amp ang positive pa siya o ang pa siya magtitripping so mangyari dyan ay ang wire mo ay magkakaroon ng overheating dahil tuloy tuloy yung supply niya na hindi nagtitrip yung breaker okay at uh, eventually Uh, mababurn ng uh, wires mo at uh, magkakos ng uh, sunog either sa yung bahay o sa wire mo susunogin niya so hindi appropriate ang uh, ATOCPD uh, ito ay oversized na at hindi pa siya appropriate hindi sa safe sa design application okay I hope uh, nagkaroon kayo ng idea uh, sa aking uh, bagong topic sa ngayon and uh, uh, nice kung uh, 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 I remind sa inyo this uh, keep safe always there's a COVID and thank you for watching my video and hope to see you again thank you